Hey guys, Pagrafam here, and welcome back to Undertale. Now, this time I will probably be doing like an hour sand recording. Okay, I can already see how I screwed this up. Um, it's a snow papyrus. It's a lump of snow with the word sands written on it in that marker. Ah! We're set. Okay, I think I solve it now. Well, I think I can solve it now. No, no, no! God bless it! So I can probably try to go for an hour on my tablet now. Because it has like five, at least five gigabytes of free storage. And BAM! What's up? That confronts you. Uh, you move the line so you can look like with a smug teen grinning. That's a little better. Ah. Huh. Um, keep on decorating him. We'll try to have a photograph of snow drink in his pen. That's a little better. You remove the striped cane that says, I use this tiny cane to walk on it. Say, are you following me? No, uh, oh, help. Oh, what is this? A door? It's a door. I wonder what's behind it. Huh. How does Sam's get there from one place to another? It's it's a snow poof. And this is a snow poof. This, however, is a snow poof. Surprisingly, it's a snow poof. Snow poof. Is it really a snow poof? Behold, a snow poof! Eh? There's 30 G inside this. What is this? What's a t what a tiny doghouse. And this it's a snow poof with a doggy in it, I think. Hey, it's doggy. Oh, oh, hello. It's the greater dog. It's so excited and thinks fighting is just play. Oh, oh, bark, 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 bark! Okay, I... Okay. Okay, I can... I should not just move at all. You caught the green. So much you put this dog around your face. Alright. Goes up in your eyes as it, as it is pet by you. Gets so comfortable and falls asleep. Zzz. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. Splats on the ground. Your dog picks up all the snow in the area and breaks it to you. Now dog is very turned. It turns its head on you. TLC. As you pet the dog, it's ink, it's the entire way. You're moving slow, but you still haven't pet enough. Oh, it is slow. 
event decisively. That capacity reaches 100%. And Doc flops over it with its legs handing in the end. Huh. <laughs> I like how it's but it's just the head. Alright. What do we got next? Oh, hello, Papyrus. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold the gauntlet of deadly terror. Oh, a dog. <laughs> when I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down, like the dog. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to activate to do it! I don't know what I, what, I don't know why I was getting ahead of myself. Well, what's the holdup? Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it right now! That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. And my traps are expertly cooked, like a spaghetti. But this method is too dire. No class at all. Oh, it goes. <laughs> Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory of four papyrus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was rough. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I want to make sure I understand bull attacks. All right. Oh, we're Snowden. Welcome to Snowden Town. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Never. Yeah, right. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? It has abs on it. Eh, I think I'm good. Uh, what's it? What's it? Oh, it's nothing. Um, okay. Don't don't want to walk to the other side of town. Try the underground tunnels. They're effect, effectively laid out. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Fun buns are so adorable. See. <laughs> Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Oh, Christmas. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. <laughs> Grillbees. Oh, hello. Uh, I'm probably not going to explore it. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dear, dre dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Let's play monsters and humans. You aren't going to make me be the human again, are you? Ah, to be young again, the world sure felt dumbness. Ah, what a beautiful knock. If you ever don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patient rewards me. Ah. Are you just gonna do that? Hey, what is this? Oh. Wait, what the? Huh. Library. Huh. 
<laughs> library. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. Look inside. Yes. It's empty. Of course. It's locked. It's locked from the inside. Oh. What? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do now? Ooh, are we gonna battle papyrus now? Human! Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, great papyrus, will be your... No, no, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus box away. Attack de 20, defense 20. He likes to say, Nyeh-eh-eh. <laughs> oh. Oh, what? What you can do about it? <laughs> Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Flirt. What? The flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. <laughs> I can make this forget. Oh no. Zero team for quality. Zero team. I have zero redeeming qualities. Oh no! That humility! It reminds me of myself! You're meeting all my standards! Let's date later. After I capture you. Oh no! <laughs> okay, so that's the same. Uh, insult. How selfless. You want me to feel better about fighting you. I don't deserve such hospitality from you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to mercy him. So you won't fight! Then, let's see if you can have my fabled blue attack. Oh no, what am I gonna do? <laughs> what? what the? Whoa! You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> I'm blue now. Papyrus is too busy fighting to flip it. Let's stay blade. Okay, so this is different. Whoa, okay, I'm, I'm starting to... Papyrus dabs! MTT brand Bishy Cream behind his ear. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Whoa, okay. Ow. MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. Hold up longer to jump higher. Jeez. I know that, but... Ow. I'm just too lazy. Papyrus does in the brand cute juice behind the seat. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Oh. Okay, I'm starting to get used to this. MCD brand attraction slime behind the seat. I can almost taste my future popularity. Oh, God. MCD brand beauty yogurt behind the seat. Papyrus, head of the royal god. Oh, hello. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. <laughs> Papyrus, unprepared, unparalleled spaghetti. Okay. Oh. Okay. Crap. You're too weak. I was easily able to capture you. I will now send you to the capture zone, or as Sans calls it. 
Our garage? You're in the doghouse now. <laughs> It's a squeaky chew toy. Unfortunately, it's just dry food. It's a note from this. Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until I'm dynamized. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and the condiments have been provided. Yeah, fully yours, Papyrus. <laughs> made the bro made the bars too wide to stop anybody. Oh, I should probably um. Oh. Oh, thanks, Papyrus. I'm fully healed. Oh, where could that human have gone? Wait, it's right in front of me. Hello, I was worried that you have gotten lost. It sure is a relief to know that you're right here. Wait a second. You're not supposed to escape. Get back there. I wonder what I should wear. Oh, back to blue again. Want to wear first date? What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Okay, so. Huh, jump. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Okay, uh, getting used to it. Bone cologne behind his ear. I can almost taste my future popularity. Don't. I shouldn't have done that. Papyrus, head of the royal guard. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghettor. Okay, oh. Undyne will be really proud of me. Okay, so that's new. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Ow. My brother will. Well, he won't change very much. Oh. Okay. I'll have lots of admirers, but. Darn it. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Okay, so some of them move. Someone like you is really rare. And dating might be kind of hard. Okay. Oh crap, snowman piece. After you're captured and sent away. Oh, okay. Uh, who cares? Give up. Okay, I'm starting to learn. It's rattling his bones. Give up or face my special attack. Yeah, very soon, I will use that, my special attack. Darn it. I'm trying my best to play it cool. A bear's a non-bone attack that spends his, a minute fixing his mistake. <laughs> Not too long, and I will use that special attack. Oh, my defense went up. Oh. This is your last chance before my special attack!
Papyrus is cackling. Nice cream. An illusion, an illustration of a hug. You were sure. Behold, my special attack! What's... <laughs> what the heck? That's my special attack! Hey! You stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey! What are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Paris is getting ready for a regular attack. <sighs> Here's a person. Okay. I missed that. Okay, uh... Okay, uh... Okay, uh... Oh, oh, okay, 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 um... Oh, that is a giant bone. Are you serious? <laughs> well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. Yo, <laughs> I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the royal god, and my friend Quantity won't remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. <laughs> what a loser! <laughs> oh, let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wow, we we haven't even had a first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people off of puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the service. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal, chopping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with the past soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... Well, he's a big fussy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say... Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go have a date. Because it's true pacifist. And you gotta be friends with everyone. Oh, there you are. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Oh really, I can't wait to see what it is. Hey, wait, where are you going? Is it going back to this house? <laughs> My house. <laughs> oh, oh, I should have seen this coming. Oh. Huh. Welcome to Senec, my house. Enjoy and take your time. Ooh, I wanna... Ooh, what does that, what does that mean? Uh, I wonder what happens.
Wow, being a good host is a real workout. Oh, it's my favorite game show! It's a stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. It's a dirty sock with a serious number. Sons! Please pick up your sock! Okay. Don't put it back down! Move it! Okay. You moved it two inches! Move it to your room! Okay. And don't bring it back! Okay. It's still here! Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! That, this is my brother's pet rock. He's always forget to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Hey Bryce, I increased the height of my sink. Now we can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. <laughs> what? Catch that meddling canine! Curses! <laughs> Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! Oh, okay, same thing. You touch the catch and makes a jangly sound. Find a bunch of loose coins inside the catch. You got 20G. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Yeah. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, pursue my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit any time. My brother always goes out to eat, but... Recently, he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg sustenance. How absurd! A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. What? Oh, bones. Door's locked. That's my room. If you're finished looking around, we can go in and do whatever people do when they date. Sure. Hey! Those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. The internet! I'm quite popular on it. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count, so you have negative two. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Sans. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Look in the closet, yeah. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. <laughs> Isn't that black Nino? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world? Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! <laughs> oh. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Yeah. Okay, dating start. Alright. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without seven letters for my name. I snacked an official dating blue book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard to s <laughs> done for dating cards. Oh. 
Wowie, I feel so involved. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. <clears throat> Human, I, the grape virus, will go on a date with you. Yes. Really? Wowie, I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. <clears throat> we're clothing. That bandage hanging off you. <laughs> You're wearing clothing right now. <laughs> Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to take me from the very beginning? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, you planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, you're dating power. Oh. <laughs> Don't think you bested me yet. I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You'll see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case someone happens to ask me on a date. Me hold! Uh, yeah, what do you think of my secret style? No! A genuine compliment! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Human souls are stronger than monster souls. But the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. There is no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. Holding my hand, so I'll tell you the answer. No, I must resist. This shirt doesn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip: all clothing articles can be improved this way. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart, but who doesn't? My hat. My hat. My hat. <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Do you know what this is? Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But oh, so wrong! This ain't any plain old spaghetti. Or pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human! It's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scratches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. No. No. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus, I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, uh, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of a passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this and I'll never have it. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. <laughs> And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. 
<laughs> oh, and if you even need, if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> okay, so that happened. All right, so. So let's go. Do 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 do. Oh, Sans! Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> All that gives my life validation is explaining the Echo Flower. No one can know. Never trust a flower. That's one of the constants of this world. Never trust a flower. That's one of the constants of this world. Okay, what is... It? Sound of rushing water fills you with determination. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Yeah. Well, if you insist. I'll prom myself away, away from my work. Follow over here. I know a shortcut. Jeez. A shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least in half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. <laughs> Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes we just put more percussions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Groovy, we'll have a double order of Berg. Is it coming in his skull? So, what do you think? Of my brother? Cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely have to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that, I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? No. More for me. Did you just drink ketchup? <laughs> Scrunching the butt. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree. Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the royal guard. One day he went out to the house of the royal head. He went to the house of the royal head of the royal guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. <laughs> Music cut out. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye on him, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just <laughs> 10,000 G's. Just kidding. Girl, we put it on my tab. Uh, by the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. <laughs> uh. Oh, I actually had to walk back there again. Alright, so let's go. Uh, my legs are hurting right now, man. 
Probably because of the way I've been sitting for like 40 minutes. Alright, so probably when like an hour. Oh, there you are again. Yeah. Let's hang out again sometime. Use the box. Oh yeah, I use all my hands. An echo flower. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. Whoa. There's a tutu lying on the ground there. We take it. We got the old tutu. Alright. Um. Finally, a protective piece of armor. You equipped the old tutu. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Uh, Valpyrus? Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Y yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? W well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. But what? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But, but, I'm not. You don't ha have to destroy them, you see. You see. Oh. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Oh, God. Oh, hey, come on, yeah. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. Oh, crap, sorry. I'm so jealous. What you do to get her attention? <laughs> come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Ow. Ow. <laughs> A feeling of dread hangs over you. But you stay determined. Yeah. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Yeah, cool. Aaron flexes in. Nice old flex. So if the crease. It is ready for your next flex. Flex harder. Twice as hard. Alright, so I won't lose though. He flexes. I flex harder. He flexes himself out of the room. You won. What's that sign say? I wonder what's over there as well. Congratulations, you failed the puzzle. <laughs> oh. Your 
If an error is made, the Battle Blossom can call Bridge Seeds back to where they started. It's over there. There's a long quiche sitting underneath this bench. You take it, you get the abandoned quiche. I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. Yields 34. Oh, uh, well, lost psychology, psychologically damaged spinach egg, whatever. <laughs> 